In this demonstration we're going to have a look at how to manage mailboxes. So the first thing we need to do before we can manage a mailbox is actually create a mailbox. Uh, mailbox is a repository for users to store their mail in within a Exchange mailbox database. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to create a new little um, mailbox here for Kimmy Akers, who's a person who's just joined our company. So we'll just right click on mailbox under recipient configuration. We'll select new mailbox. This will then kick off a little wizard. And what we want to do in that wizard is we actually want to create a new user mailbox. So we'll just select next on user mailbox. We'll create a new user and select next. And what we'll now do is we'll start setting this up. So as you can see here, fill in Kim. Kim Akers is her name. Kim's going to be her login name, specified her password, and I'm going to create her user account in the IT domain. I'm not going to bother to get um, the user to change password next logon. Um, in the real world I would, but this is just a lab environment, so I'm not going to bother. So select the next button. Next thing we'll do here is just specify the alias for the exchange organization. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with Kim at that point there. Next thing to do here is I'm just actually going to specify where to put her mailbox. So we'll click the Browse button, and what we'll do here is we'll put in the Accounting Department. So we'll click OK. Now that we've done all of that, we're just going to leave the Retention Policy, and we're just going to leave the Exchange Active Sync Mailbox Policy as well. We'll come back to those in a later demo. So select our Next button. Next thing I'm going to do here is I'm not going to bother creating an Archive location yet. Again, we'll do that in a later demo. So we'll just select Next button. Click the New button, and then the next thing we'll do is wait for this to finish. Once it's all done, click our finish button, and what we should do is, or what we should find, is that Kim Akers has now been created. Next thing to do is just actually use the, mail, uh, the Exchange Management Console to locate a user mailbox. So the people I want to find, I actually want to find everybody in the accounting database. So what we'll do here is we'll just ensure that we are under recipient configuration, which we are into our mailbox node. We can see all of the users within here. User mailbox is located in Exchange 2007 will also be labeled as user mailboxes as well. So we could create a filter as well, I suppose, to have a look at either Exchange 2007 or Exchange 2010. So what I want to do here is I actually just want to create a filter. All right, so we'll create our filter. And what we want to do here is just under our filter, we're just going to come in here and we're just going to browse through here and we just want to actually find everybody in the accounting department. Okay, so our little drop down in the database, we'll just click our browse button here, accounting, click OK at this point here. What we'll now do is just apply this filter. And what we can do is we can find everybody that is now sitting on the accounting database. So that's a very quick way to just use the Exchange Management Console to filter some results. Now one of the other things in this demo is actually looking at how we do um, management tasks through the Exchange Management Shell. So the first thing we're going to do through the Management Shell is actually just use the Exchange Management Shell to enable a user. So we already have somebody being created in Active Directory. We then want to enable that user and give them an Exchange Mailbox. Alright, so it's now loaded up. The next thing to do here is we just want to enable a user called Daniel Brunner. And to do that, we're going to use the enable hyphen mailbox commandlet. Alright, so as you can see, what we've done here is we're going to enable hyphen mailbox. We're going to do that for Daniel Brunner. Give him an alias of Daniel. And we're going to then set his database to be the accounting database. So we've hit return. As you can see. We've now enabled Daniel as an Exchange Mailbox user. The next thing we're going to do here is just verify that everything is successful. So to do that, we'll use the get hyphen mailbox commandlet. Uh, so what we've done here is we've used the get hyphen mailbox. We're looking for Daniel Brunner. We're going to pipe this query. We're going to do a format table. We're looking for his alias, and we're looking for the database. So as you can see, Daniel and accounting for the database. Next thing we're going to do is just use the Exchange Management Shell to disable Daniel's mailbox. He was only here temporarily. He was only working in the accounting department temporarily. We now want to just make him a normal user without an Exchange Mailbox. So to do that, we're going to use the disable hyphen mailbox commandlet. Right, so there we go. Disable hyphen mailbox and Daniel Brunner. Hit the return key. Are we sure that we want to do this? Yes, we are. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to hit the enter key for the default. So we have indeed disabled Daniel's mailbox. So the next thing to do is just again verify that all of that is correct. So to do that, we'll just use the get hyphen mailbox yet again. Okay, so get hyphen mailbox, Daniel Brunner. Hit return. Yep, it's in. Yup, kind of do that. 
you know, it doesn't exist as an exchange mailbox user. So we're happy that we've enabled them, he's done whatever you need to do, we've now disabled them, and we've just made sure that everything is actually correct. Next thing we want to do is we just want to use the exchange management shell now to um, remove a user's mailbox. So we're going to remove Kim Akers. So we'll just clear the screen. Yep, so we're typing in our remove hyphen mailbox. Identity is Kim Akers. So just hit the enter key. Hit the enter again, just as the default. Now we need to make sure that we definitely have got rid of Kim. So what we'll do instead is we'll just use the get hyphen mailbox commandlet. And we'll do that for Kim. We don't need the hyphen identity. Hit the return key, little error there, yet again, you know, this is the uh, Active Directory in the Exchange system saying, nope, that user definitely does not exist. So that ends our demonstration of managing user mailboxes through the Management Console and the Management Shell. Thanks very much.